Greetings, members one and all of the Salvation Nation. Something golden, something really golden we're going to take a look at here. Uh, who has shared with me this article here that is who owns the most of the world's gold? Who is stockpiling it? Here we see a slide showing Queen Elizabeth II in front of a lot of gold. We're going to learn about that here in this video. So who's stockpiling gold? The value of global currencies used to be directly linked to the value of gold. The so-called gold standard is no longer in use, but many countries and institutions still hold large reserves of this most precious of metals. There are 30 places that are stockpiling the most gold, as recorded by the World Gold Council's World Official Gold Holdings up until November 2017. Mexico is number 30 in this list with 120.5 tons. Not only does Mexico keep its gold reserves high with 120.5 tons in its stores, it is also a major producer of gold. The Central American uh, country is one of the 10 largest gold miners in the world. Actually, I thought Mexico was North American. Uh, many countries store gold abroad. Uh, often simply because the logistics of transporting at home are too complicated. And Mexico is reported to hold a proportion of its gold in the Bank of England gold vaults in London, which we saw in the previous slide. South Africa has 125.3 tons, coming in at number 29. Once one of the world's largest gold producers, and by the way, the first mint to actually come out, first country to issue a bullion coin recognized around the world, um, gold production has dropped significantly in South Africa in recent years, and as a result of this, uh, the numbers working in the gold mining industry have fallen, fallen as well. The country still has large piles of gold in the stores, however, with 125.3 tons of the precious metal being held. Next is Sweden with 125.7 tons. At number 28, Sweden isn't an obvious choice for being a major player in the gold market, but this Scandinavian country actually owns 125.7 tons of gold bars. It doesn't keep all of its stocks on home ground, however. As well as Sweden's central bank, the Reichsbank, the country's gold is also reportedly held within the Bank of England, the Bank of Canada, and the Federal Reserve Bank in America, and the Swiss National Bank. Very interesting. Moving ahead, we've got Singapore at number 27 with 127.4 tons. Those looking for a secure place to store their gold often settle on Singapore because the country has not been tarnished by any major corruption scandals. Crime is low, and so are taxes. Plus, the cost of gold storage here is incredibly competitive. The country itself has got a substantial reserve of gold, 127.4 tons of the stuff to be precise. Indeed. Moving ahead, we have Thailand that coming in at 26 with 152.4 tons. Thailand is stocking 152.4 tons of gold, over 20 tons more than Singapore. Thailand mines its own gold, and the Thai people place a high value on the precious metal. In fact, Southeast Asians as a whole are much keener on gold, for jewelry in particular, than people anywhere else in the world. Yes, we've talked about that before in this channel and other channels about how valued gold is in the Orient and in Asia uh, specifically, uh, just culturally. Very fascinating indeed. Moving ahead to number 25 is Algeria with 173.6 tons. The North African country of Algeria has 20 tons of gold more than Thailand. With 173.6 tons of the stuff, it also has a strong gold mining tradition with gold thought to have been mined here on a small scale since pre-Roman times. 
The government has only recently taken steps to encourage commercial gold mining on a large scale, as it's thought that there's a great deal of wealth hidden beneath the soil. So we'll stay tuned to Algeria for any kind of gold mining going on, which really could help their nation. Uh, I was kind of surprised at this choice uh, of Algeria holding so much gold. Venezuela is next with 187.6 tons of gold in their coffers. At number 24, Venezuela was in the top 20 gold owners until a few years ago. But in a bid to reduce its vast debts and fend off an economic crisis, it sold off about $1.7 billion of gold recently in early 2016. And it's now down to 187.6 tons. There's an established gold mining business in Venezuela, but as its economic situation worsens, an increasing number of unlicensed illegal mines are springing up, kind of like what we saw in Peru and other places in a previous video that I had talked about. Uh, and sadly, the situation will probably continue to uh, degrade in Venezuela as long as they pursue central planning and uh, co uh, socialistic uh, tactics and uh, strong arming and dictatorships there. 23 is the Philippines with 196.4 tons. The Philippines is one of the Asia's largest gold producers. Although mining is a big business here, it's thought that much of its gold is still untapped. Desperately poor locals hoping to get lucky and literally strike gold even undertake dangerous dives in mud-filled swamp mines in search of the precious metal. The country has large reserves of gold already, However, with 196.4 tons recorded as being under its ownership. All right. Moving ahead, we have Belgium at number 22 with 227.4 tons. Belgium is holding on to 227.4 tons of gold. Most of this is thought to be held abroad, some in the Bank of England and some in the Bank of Canada. There have been talk of the country looking into repatriating its stocks back to Belgium. And actually, that's been talked about on YouTube as well, about nations repatriating their gold. But it's thought that the transport and security costs involved in some move were prohibitive and that Belgium was unaware where to store it if it did, not, if it did return to home soil. So there is a problem of storage there. Austria, 280 tons. There's another big leap between 22nd and 21st place with Austria recorded as holding 280 tons of gold, more than 50 tons more than Belgium. Much of its stock was held in the Bank of England, but the Austrian National Bank is said to be working on repatriating much of it this back to Vienna, so that at least half of its gold is held at home. We're seeing a trend here with that. Number 20 is Spain. Just making the top 20 is Spain, which holds just over uh, a ton more gold than Austria with 281.6 tons in its stocks. Gold mining has been going on in Spain since before pre-Christian times, and it was the Romans who turned it into a flourishing industry. There is now renewed interest in Spanish gold with a lot of prospector activity being carried out in the hope of being able to strike it lucky. It's unlikely to impact heavily on the country's gold reserves, however. Lebanon with 286.8 tons. Wow. It's definitely not the most stable country in the world. That's an understatement. But the small Middle Eastern land is rich in gold. Lebanon is currently holding on to 286.8 tons of gold, uh, bringing it into number 19 on the list. And it is the second largest gold reserves in the Middle East after Saudi Arabia. Although Lebanon has a mining industry, uh, gold is not one of its most abundant natural resources. Coming in at number 18 with Kazakhstan at 289.3 tons. The world's largest landlocked country is Kazakhstan, and it's currently working in developing its gold mining industry. With the help of foreign investors attracted by its government's limited regulations, it hopes to become one of the world's largest gold-producing nations within 10 years. Perhaps it will use this to add to its own gold stocks, which currently amount to an impressive 289.3 tons. So we're seeing a theme here with this list, 
and uh, one of that one of that theme is repatriation and and and, um, and expanded gold mining. The United Kingdom is at number seventeen. I thought they would be higher up on the list. They have three hundred and ten point three tons of gold. Many countries choose to store their gold in the heavily fortified Bank of England vault in London, the second largest in the world after the vault in New York Federal Reserve. The UK has its fair share of gold reserves too, with 310.3 tons of the precious metals held in its name. Despite there being no gold mines currently in the UK, it has long been seen as the center of the wholesale gold market with a major importer and exporter of the metal. Number 16 is Saudi Arabia, with 322.9 tons of gold. The oil-rich country of Saudi Arabia has the highest gold reserves in the Middle East, with 322.9 tons of the precious metal, locking it in at number 16. As part of the plans to diversify its economic base and place less of a reliance on oil, Saudi Arabia is also committed to boosting its gold mining industry. Although overshadowed by oil, this is not a new endeavor. Archaeological studies show that gold began being mined in the country up to 5,000 years ago. Portugal at number 15 has 382.5 tons of gold, nearly 60 tons more than Saudi Arabia. However, this country has battled with economic instability, and there have been calls for it to sell off some of its gold reserves to reduce its national debt. Regulations make this easier said than done, uh, though, and now for Portugal, is holding on to its precious asset. It's quite fascinating. They've got more gold, much smaller country geographically than Spain and obviously Saudi Arabia, but they've got more gold. Fascinating indeed at number 15. Taiwan, with 423.6 tons, comes in at number 14. Despite being a small island off the coast of China, Taiwan is sitting on 423.6 tons of gold and has held this amount of the precious metal for several years. Gold is always seen as a strong investment uh, in uncertain times, and with Brexit, the unpredictable Trump presidency, and threats from North Korea, the world is certainly going through a period of instability. This has pushed the price of gold up, making Taiwan's gold asset a sound investment for the near term. Turkey, 495.6 tons. They come in at number 13. They've got 70 tons more gold than Taiwan, with 495.6 tons. The country is thought to see gold as the best way to stabilize its fragile banking system. Turkey is also pushing to exploit its own gold resources. Gold is thought to have been discovered in Turkey as early as 9,000 BC. But it's only quite recently that it's become an international commercial interest. And as I reported in a previous video, Turkey has repatriated a lot of gold to their own uh, in-country there. Number 12 is the whole of the European Central Bank with 504.8 tons. It's not a country, but the European Central Bank is the uh, uh, central bank of all European Union countries that have adopted the euro as their currency. It holds 504.8 tons of gold in their name, largely as a result of transfers made to the bank by euro member national central banks at the launch of the euro. The gold is said to be stored across five locations around the world. Very fascinating there. Number 12. 11 is India. Actually, I thought India would be higher on this list, but Indian households are known to hold more gold than most other nations, uh, largely in the form of jewelry, and the country itself also places a high value on gold storage. India holds 50 tons more gold than the European Central Bank, with 557.8 tons. Although India does have a small gold mining industry and can't support the national demand, and most of its yellow metal is bought in from abroad. 
And that makes me wonder if maybe India could possibly be number one in gold holdings when you include per capita holdings as well as central bank holdings in India. That would be an interesting uh, metric to kind of research and find out. Because really, the power of a nation is in its people. And if its people have that wealth, I think that really did the say, the say a lot about the nation. Number 10 is the Netherlands. Uh, the Netherlands takes the number 10 spot in the world of official gold holdings chart with 612 tons of gold in its stocks. Plans are currently being put into place to move its gold bullion from its current vaults in central Amsterdam to a new purpose-built facility near Zeist. Some Dutch gold is also said to be held at the Bank of England, the Bank of Canada, and the Federal Reserve Bank in New York. <clears throat> Number nine is Japan with 765.2 tons. Japan holds 765.2 tons of gold in its stock, more than 150 tons more than the Netherlands. It is also has its own veins of gold running through its land, which have been mined on a small scale for centuries. Recent exploratory gold searches have proved positive, and Japan is now looking to exploit those reserves further. Interesting. Number eight is Switzerland. Switzerland has 1,040 tons of gold. And in a way, that doesn't surprise us. Um, the gold stocks move into four figures now, with Switzerland holding 1,040 tons. The majority of this gold is held on home soil, but some of it is stored in the Bank of England and in the Bank of Canada. In 2014, there was a referendum to decide whether all the gold should be stored in Switzerland, whether the Swiss National Bank should have the right to sell its gold reserves, and whether the SNB should hold at least 20% of its assets in gold. The status quo prevailed. Another interesting topic is that a lot of the gold um, held in Switzerland, and I'm sure some of it probably still there, is um, uh, gold that was taken from the Jews um, in Nazi Germany, from taken from dead Jews from their teeth, and also their personal holdings when they were taken to concentration camps. Number seven is Russia. Russia holds over a third more gold than Switzerland, with 1,778.9 tons of the yellow metal. The country can't get enough of this precious metal and has been busy expanding its reserves over recent years and doesn't need to import to add to its stockpile either as it has a billion-dollar gold mining industry. So Russia is really accumulating a lot of gold there. Fascinating indeed. China has 1,842.6 tons of gold and comes in at number six. It also is the biggest gold producer in the world, ahead of Australia and Russia. And the local demand for gold has been boosted by the burgeoning wealth of its middle class. So quite interesting. Number five is France. France has stockpiled 2,435.9 tons of gold, much of this reportedly acquired during the 1950s and 60s. Although some is held abroad, most of the gold is said to be held in vaults under the Bank Banque de France in Paris. A few hundred tons of French gold was sold off in the early part of the century but its stocks have been remained stable since 2009. So quite interesting indeed. So they actually had more than that, but it's still, that's a lot of gold. I didn't realize France had that much. And Italy, wow, and Italy was part of those pigs nations too uh, that have been in trouble with Portugal um, and Spain. But Italy holds just a little bit more gold than France with 2,451 tons. Unlike most countries where the gold reserves are owned by the state and managed by the central bank, Italy's gold is actually owned by the Banca d'Italia. The gold is held in vaults in Rome and on foreign soil at the Swiss National Bank, the Federal Reserve Bank in New York, and the Bank of England. Wow, a lot of gold. And uh, so it's, uh, it's owned by the bank, the Bank d'Italia. The IMF, the International Monetary Fund, comes in at number three. 
It's a group of 189 countries that work to foster global monetary cooperation. When it was founded in 1944, it was decided that 25% of, of initial quota subscriptions and subsequent quota increases were to be paid in gold. That remains the main source of the 2,814 tons of the gold it holds. Interesting. Number two is Germany. Wow. With 3,373 tons of the yellow metal, um, Germany is the second largest hoarder of gold in the world with uh, 3,373 tons. Concerning over its golds falling under Soviet control during the Cold War led to the stockpile being spread around the world. It was thought it was divided between the Federal Reserve Bank in New York, the Bank of England, and the Banque de France. Recently, at least half of the bounty has been brought back home to Frankfurt. We remember the repatriation of gold from the, um, from the Federal Reserve and what was known as rehypothecation, which is where bars were reconstituted, so, uh, which led to a conspiracy that possibly, or the theory, that some of the gold was borrowed and paid back in this rehypothecated, reformed gold. Very interesting. And number one, it should be no surprise, is the United States of America. The United States of America is the country with the most gold in the world, with 8,133.5 tons of gold bullion. That's nearly as much as Germany, the IMF, and Italy combined. The majority of this gold is thought to be held in depositories across America, such as the famous Fort Knox. And as mentioned in the previous video that I posted about um, uh, how the, the article talks about how Russia really has more gold than the United States. I knew that wasn't true, and uh, this just proves it, and it's not been true. So I don't understand where that author got that information, but the United States is by far and large the, the largest gold holder. And now, obviously, some people don't believe we actually have this much gold, but I do. And it just goes to show you that America is number one in gold holdings, according to the World, World Gold Council. And they wouldn't publish these reports every year without substantiating it with facts. So there it is, uh, the top producers and who owns the most of the world's gold. And no surprise, it's mostly uh, governments and banks that hold it. But in the case of India, it's a different story. I would love to see those numbers to see how many in India and other Asian countries hold it per capita. So post your thoughts below on this uh, article. Very exciting and interesting piece. Thanks again, Something Golden. like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for watching and encourage you to please rate, comment, and subscribe.